Hey guys, welcome back to Front Seat Driver. My name is Jason. I'm here at Steve's house. Today's another Saturday. It's a Corvette's coffee and install Saturday. Steve in the background there. So we're here with my good friend, Tim from Dad's Garage Inn. Yes, I got everybody's names right. I can't even believe it never happens. But anyway, we're getting ready to do an install on his car with some diffuser fence. So it's something I'm excited about. We're not going to film it like a normal install and show you every little step of the way. Um, you can go to my channel for a video of that. But uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to film the before. We're going to see what this thing looks like. Going to keep it short. Probably going to play around, have a good time. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, stay tuned. Let's see what this thing looks like. So since they're getting ready to start this, I wanted to go ahead and get a quick video of what it looks like right now. And this... You know, the C7 is a beautiful car. There's no question about that, but I gotta be honest with you. I've said this a million times. My favorite, favorite mod is the diffuser fans. It just looks a little unfinished to me with the way it dives down like that. And once we get these diffuser fans on here, this thing is gonna look insane, but I wanted to get them before. So anyway, we're gonna get moving on this. So this is a little different than the way we did mine. I really like the way Tim's going to do this because it's going to make for a lot better install. But he's actually taking the entire rear fascia off. So we had to go in there and pull out all these bolts and get everything. All, all these screws, there's like, I don't know, two, four, six, uh, eight, eight or ten, right there. That, that's the bowl of screws. <laughs> and Josh is down there getting the others. And then we had to pull out the, the rear deflectors reflectors and now we're going to go ahead and pull the back of the rear fascia off and i'll show you kind of after a while a little bit about what he did on that because i got to tell you i think it's it, it's it's more time consuming maybe maybe than the way i did it but i got to tell you you're going to get a far better fit than what we were able to get the way we did it in, in my video but anyway he's going to get this thing pulled off and then we're going to take a look at how he installs those so Tim and Josh took the whole rear fascia off to get these diffuser fins on. And I gotta be honest, like I said before, huge difference. <laughs> Look what it looks like. Could you imagine if this thing, if you ran around on the road, didn't have a rear fascia on? <laughs> Pretty ugly. <laughs> so anyway, but these things are almost done. We're very excited to see what it looks like. All right, guys, this is done. Steve over here, what do you think? Oh, that's, the must is done now. Amen. Done. Tim, what you think? big difference Freaking amazing amazing yeah. look at this guys i'm sorry there's no way gm should have left these off i'm glad they did because it gives you something to do to your car to modify it for your own but man i'm sorry that looks amazing so tim's are done steve of course you guys have seen his and of course i have mine so we are literally look like a, uh, a couple of triplets running around out there that's going to do it for today's video man i hope everybody enjoyed this listen if you do not follow dad's garage do it now um, the link is down in the description obviously if you don't follow protective dad pranks you're one of the dude he has over 100,000 subscribers go follow him be one more man if you don't follow me follow me front seat driver if you like this video hit like hit subscribe anyway that's going to do it for this week i hope everybody has a wonderful week peace You're filming outtakes? You're going to have like 100 times outtakes. I know. Well, hey, anytime you do it with Jason, he's going to say, I'm here with Steve from Dad's Garage and Tim from Protective Dad yeah, Prank. Exactly. I did that one video without standing right next to him. Remember yeah. I did that to you? Uh-huh. Like, uh, this is Front Seat Driver. And I was like, what? I'm not Front Seat Driver. Well, when I was in Miami, I was filming and literally forgot Justin's name. I'm like, a guy I talk to literally every single day. <laughs> and I went to go use his name and literally my, my brain shut completely off.